coming up, states could be getting help when it comes to the stress and anxiety of the coronavirus pandemic. We have an update from state leaders. And stepping down after more than two decades of community service, the selfless act behind the Rapid City Fire Chief's retirement. Good morning, this is Kendall Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We'll get to those stories in just a moment, but first let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Well, good morning, you two. Good morning, Kendall Land. Another day with cloud cover in eastern and southeastern Kendall Land, and with that, temperatures will be a little cooler as compared to everybody else. Expect highs in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees in eastern, southeastern South Dakota and Minnesota and Iowa. Where we have the sunshine, the temperatures will warm to the 70s. But we're also watching the chance for thunderstorms in western South Dakota. More details on that coming up. Thanks, Scott. The latest numbers of COVID-19 in South Dakota show two more people have died from the virus. One death was reported in Minnehaha County, while the other was in Pennington County. This brings the total number of deaths in the state to 46. The state health department also announced 58 more positive cases. 130 more people have recovered from the illness, bringing the total to more than 2,900. The Rapid City Police Department says one of its officers has tested positive for COVID-19. The officer is in self-quarantine. Supervisors are in the process of determining a timeline of contacts the officer may have made within the last two weeks. The state of South Dakota is responding to COVID-19 cases at at least two meat plants. At Demkota Beef in Aberdeen, 124 workers have tested positive. Many of them have recovered, but nearly 100 of Brown County's 205 cases remain active. State health officials are also working with the Dakota Provisions meat plant in Huron. At this point, state officials won't say how many workers have tested positive. There are currently 24 active cases in Beetle County. The state says it is also working with a cheese plant in the northeastern part of the state, where there is at least one case. The coronavirus pandemic has impacted both adults and children. Governor Kristi Noem says the Department of Social Services is providing South Dakota with $9 million through the CARES Act to support child care programs. The announcement comes a day after Noem says she had a conference call with the President and First Lady. It particularly focused on mental health and making sure that we were able to respond in creative ways using telemedicine, tele mental health facilities and technologies in order to respond to what families and children might be dealing with in the situation that we're currently in. Noam also plans to allocate funds from the federal government stimulus package to cities and counties with reimbursable COVID-19 expenses. The pandemic isn't over. That's why emergency medical service workers are preparing for a surge. To do that, EMS groups are bringing more ambulances to Sioux Falls. The city's provider, Patient Care EMS, has added two more to its fleet. Sioux Falls Fire Rescue will lease two other ambulances for a dollar per month from the company until the COVID-19 threat is gone. We want to be prepared. Um, so we want to make sure, just like the hospitals, you know, they've built their surge plans, they've built their extra capacity. We're doing the same and we're going to maintain that capacity until we feel that the threat is, is diminished. The agreement allows EMS providers to share equipment and staff in case of shortages. After 25 years, Rapid City Fire Chief Rod Seals is retiring. Right now, Seals is the highest paid employee in the department who is eligible to retire. He says the decision was tough. However, he knew his retirement would save money and potentially prevent laying off other members of the department. I call it the tennis match that's been going on in my head as far as leaving during a, a pandemic, but also the economic situation to it. And it was really kind of the, the back and forth with that. And, and uh, so my decision has been made. Fire Chief Seals announced his retirement last Friday. His last day with the department will be on June 19th. Scott? And in weather, we are looking at thick cloud cover throughout the day in eastern and southeastern Kettle Land. We'll have sunshine western, central, and northern South Dakota. Maybe not to begin the day as we are seeing some cloud cover in those areas, but I think by the afternoon we will have sunshine western, central, and northern Kettle Land. Showers and thunderstorms develop late this afternoon and evening right along the border of Wyoming and South Dakota. Those storms will have to be watched as they may become strong to severe. And then we're looking at rain showers tomorrow morning in central and south central South Dakota. Those will weaken as they move to the northeast, but we will continue our chance for showers during the day in eastern Kettle Land. Better chance for rain on Friday. That will move through. I think we will get a break from the rain late in the day Friday until late in the day on Saturday. In the meantime, there's that enhanced risk for severe weather for the southern hills of western and southwestern South Dakota. With all the rain that we have in the forecast, the rainfall amounts will be around an inch or inch and a half for some of us. 
in central, eastern, and southeastern Ketheland. Here's our setup for Saturday. Cold front will try to move through. Ahead of that, we'll have our warm, moist air, and we can see some strong to severe thunderstorms develop in south central South Dakota into Nebraska, and they may eventually move to the east. Forecast again for today showing highs in the 60s and 70s to near 80 degrees. For more forecast details, you go ahead and read up on it here at Kettleland.com. Thanks, Scott, and thanks for joining us for Kettleland on the go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kettleland. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on Kettleland.com. Now go have a great day.